All right, another thing we can do to stylize this is to use a drop shadow. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick with our outline edge. I kind of like this one. The outline cavity I'm gonna replace. Uh, so we're gonna take outline cavity and we're going to choose uh, drop shadow down here in the lower right. So with drop shadow, drop shadow selected, uh, we now have that as our filter. And you see by default, it's just applying a drop shadow to our entire uh, object, but really I only want it to affect the background. I don't want the drop shadow to be on top of our object. So we know we need to go into mask here and we want to put that uh, just to our background here. And it also looks kind of funny with an actual cast shadow from our floor kind of conflicting with our drop shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off our floor so we're not going to get that cast shadow anymore. And we're going to hit BPR again. And now our only shadow is going to be at this drop shadow. Of course, you can crank up the intensity of this drop shadow. If you uh, make that a negative 100, and this, of course, this, this, this is pure black, um, that's the drop shadow you're going to get. If you want to back that off, you can go ahead and uh, make that a little bit lighter. And of course, your drop shadow at a positive number will grab your front color. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep that our back color. And of course, the opacity, you can dial that in and out as well. If you go into the options for this, you're going to have modifiers. All of this stuff we'll get to in a second, but essentially if you want to change your offset, so if you want to make it a little bit closer, you can change your X offset to like six and your Y offset to a lower number. And now that uh, drop shadow will just kind of be hanging out uh, just past that object. So that's going to give you a very graphic look to your render. Now to play with some of those other options, what we can do is let's go ahead, and that's actually kind of cool, you know, remember you can always change your position, hit BPR, uh, and that drop shadow is just going to follow. So you can get a very cool graphic look uh, very quickly than one of your models. And remember, this has nothing to do with the materials. You're going to see this just has plain Jane materials, but all these filters you're stacking are giving you a very stylized look after you hit BPR, kind of like a nice little sticker. So what we can do is we can, let's go ahead and turn off perspective. I'm going to back this camera out just a little bit. I'm going to put them up here. We're going to hit BPR one more time. And under these drop shadow options, let's go back into modifiers here. And instead of uh, just doing a drop shadow, let's turn on this drop copy mode. And essentially what that's going to do is drop a copy of your object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this look like a reflection. So we're going to flip it vertically. And then now we have our X and our Y offsets. So if we do the X offset, again, remember, hold down, you can hold down shift and it'll move uh, dynamically. If you change that X offset to zero, uh, that'll center the object. And then Y offset, again, hold down shift and you can just move this down. If you need a little bit more... Um, Fidelity, if you just tap here, you're going to see there's a top uh, slider here. So you can just kind of move that very, very small increments here. So now we have a drop shadow that is actually a copy of our object. And you can adjust the intensity. So if you crank this all the way up, uh, you get a very light version of it. If you crank it all the way down, you get a very dark version of it, as well as the saturation. Uh, there is no real saturation. So if we go to negative one, it's just going to look the same. Uh, but you can't actually over crank the saturation. But let's say you had a poly painted object that you rendered. Uh, you can go ahead and desaturate that right here. And of course, you can also adjust the hue, but if, since we don't have any colors, uh, that's not going to do very much. But anyway, this is a very easy way to kind of get a nice reflection kind of look added to your stylized render. There's actually one more thing you can do with Drop Shadow that's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and we'll go back to our normal render, or like a three-quarter view. We'll turn perspective back on. We'll go ahead and hit BPR Render. And instead of doing a vertical flipped Drop Shadow, we're going to do is we're going to go into modifiers here. We're going to turn off flip vertically. We're going to keep drop copy mode here. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a very small X and Y offset here. And you see, it's going to give us kind of a blurry kind of outliney look here and adjust intensity. Uh, we've gone ahead and just put that back down to zero. And if you remember, if you go down here to these channels here, you can actually start turning off channels. You can get kind of a chromatic aberration if you go through here and you can kind of play around with, you know, you can say turn off the green and the blue, and then you can go up here and change these modifiers. You can even get these a little bit closer maybe. If you go into the modifiers too, you can also play with the saturation. So again, you can crank up that saturation. Let's go ahead and crank up that opacity a bit. And that'll kind of give you a cool look as well. Actually, one more thing I want to mention when we're talking about drop shadow and doing kind of a reflection is there is a reflect, reflect self option. I'm going to choose this last filter over here and we're going to change it from saturation down here to reflect self. Uh, this one takes a little bit longer. It's a little bit slower, but you can see it does cast its own reflection. If I go ahead and back this camera off a little bit and we go ahead and hit BPR again. You're going to see we can have a uh, reflection on the floor here. You do need the floor turned on. What you may want to do, though, is go into your rendering options under your BPR shadow. Turn that floor strength down if you want to just limit it to uh, that reflection. If we hold down shift and we open back up that BPR filter menu, you can change that reflect shelf, reflect self down to 100, and that'll get you even more of that reflection. So I just wanted to make sure you knew that was an option as well. Uh, like I said before, it is a little bit of a slower filter, so be prepared for a slightly longer render times. 
uh, but certainly use that if it helps.